in triangle, and I've said this to a few of you, but not to everyone, please name your triangles when you're talking about things because there's so many triangles flying around, it can be quite confusing. This is the triangle I'm looking at right now. This is the triangle on the ground, ACT. Ramson suggested I use 10. 10 of that angle up there, the orange one, what's it called? What's its name? TAB -A or CAT or BAT. I'm going to call it BAT. That's the, that's the uh, triangle that I'm after in the end, right? It's going to be, yeah, bat and cat and act and all that. It's going to be opposite on adjacent. You okay with that? Opposite on adjacent in this big triangle, right? So opposite will be H cot. Look carefully. Which, tri which, which side am I looking at? H cot, this is, this is opposite, right? Here's my orange, it's H cot 30, right? There's the opposite, what's the adjacent side? H cot 20. Look carefully, this is the orange angle. What's next to this orange angle in this big right angle triangle? It's this guy, right? H cot 26 degrees, right? Opposite on adjacent. What happens to those H's? Then cancel out. Bam, bam. Um, I should point out, cot is just 1 over 10, right? And I've got 1 over 10 this, over 1 over 10 that. So I can actually put things, put things back into tens, right? That's going to be a little bit simpler for me because you're going to need to get your calculator out right now. Yeah, do you, you want to ask about how I went from there to there? Is that the question? If I had a fifth over a half, a fifth over a half, let's put some brackets in there, right? What does it mean to divide by a fraction? What do you usually do if you were just divide by? You would multiply by the reciprocal, reciprocal right? You'd multiply by the reciprocal oh, of this, which is, which is 2, right? And then this guy here is going to go down the bottom. It's just dividing by 5, right? So that's what I've done here. It's just the tan and cot are the reciprocals. So I've got this so far. Now I'm going to need your help with your calculator. I have no idea what tan 26 degrees on tan 30 degrees is. Can you work it out for me, please? Really small. Yeah, that's okay. Zero degrees and 50 minutes. Oh, hold on a second. Tan 26 degrees, tan 30 degrees. That's not an angle, it's a ratio, right? So you're going to get zero point something or other. What do you get? 0.8 to one decimal place. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just didn't write it down. 0.8447. Ah, uh, there we go. Now. Do you have a question? Do you have a thing that's like. Um, are there any series? How do you get from 30 to 20 to 26 to 26 over This to this? Is that your question? Yeah, okay. So let's think about what does, what does cot mean? What's our definition for cot? Like cot, cot 30 is 1 over tan 30 degrees. That's, that's just what we define it to be. Okay. So if I've got cot 30 on cot 26, I have this over this. Do you agree? Is that okay? I'll do it really nice and slow for you. When you deal with equivalent fractions, right? For example, 6 over 8. We would say that's equal to? Please tell me you know the equivalent fraction for 6 over 8. That's 3 over 4. And what you've done is you've divided by 2, then you've divided by 2 again. Right? So here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to multiply this by 10, 26, and I'm going to multiply this by 10, 26. Are you okay with that? Still an equivalent fraction, right? What happens on the denominator? What happens to them? They, they cancel, right? Is that okay? You just get the 1. Is that alright? So now what I've got is tan 26 on tan 30 on the top, that's the numerator, all divided by what? 1, which is just Which last I checked is tan 26 degrees on tan 30 degrees. Does that make sense? So, sorry, I had to break that apart. Okay, are we okay now? That's alright? You've pressed 10, 26 degrees on 10, 30 degrees in your calculator. You've got this. But I don't actually want that. I just want the angle itself. Can someone tell me what the actual angle is? You're going to have to do shift 10. Who's got it? 40 degrees. 40? Can I get some decimal places on that? Maybe, maybe one decimal place will do. 3.2. 2? Things like one nine something or other, right? Let's just call it that. Okay, so what have I got here? This is the orange angle in here. This guy, 40.2 degrees. Now we're still not there yet. The blue angle is the actual one we're interested in. But as Ishan pointed out, in this triangle up here, A, B, T, right? Do you see this? 
you've got 40.2 degrees, it's opposite this side. And if we wanted this angle here, we've got a side opposite that, right? This is which rule? This is the sine rule, right? Let's write it out. In, why am I using that color? In triangle A, B, T, right? My destination is going to be this, uh, this unmarked angle here. I should give it, a, give it a color. All the rest of them have a color. Let's call this one the green one. Right? There's the, <laughs> there's the green angle in there. So sine of, what is the name of this green angle? A, A, B, T. A, B, T. Thank you very much. And in the sine rule, we pair each angle with the opposite sign. What is the opposite sign? H, cot H, cot 26. H, cot 26. Thank you. And then we've got sine on top of a side, so I've got to do sine. What's my other angle? The one I just worked out. 40.2. Yep. And the opposite side is? A, oh, careful. We're in this little triangle here. It's why I even named it. It's H cot 28, right? Now, I know this looks like a garbled mess. That's part of what makes this problem challenging. However, I should point out that and that and that, that's just mincemeat for your calculator. And it looks awkward to write, but your calculator will take care of all of that, right? I want A, B, T. What happens when I multiply this H cot 26 to both sides? It's going to end up on this side, right? And you're going to get an H on the top and an H on the bottom. That's nice. They'll cancel just like they did before, right? So I'm going to get this. Sine 40.2. <laughs> Sometimes... Have you guys ever tried to clean up your desk before, right? And when you're cleaning up your desk, halfway between, you know, desk messy and desk clean, there's like room messy because you're like, ah, oh, where does all of this go? Things have to get worse before they get better. That's kind of where we are here, okay? Now, can you please do me a favor? You can pop this into your calculator again. I'll do one more line for you that might make it a little bit easier for you. I'm going to write this as tan. And this is 10. Just be careful you don't mix up your angles because you'll get a completely different result. And then we're going to do shift sign to get that angle out. Now I have a number, but I'm waiting for you guys to confirm for me what you think it is. Where am I going to go? I'm going to fit it here. Let's see if I can squeeze my working in here. That's going to be really brave. What do you got? You got an answer? I had a different process before. That's okay. That's okay. Um, Which angle is that? Can you tell me where it is? This bad boy right here. So, what you've done is... Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell you. It's not, but it's actually close. You had an... There was a, an issue that you had earlier on where there was a different... There was an angle that could be something other than what you've worked out, okay. which is why that earlier error leads you to this one, okay? So keep thinking on it. You're, you're not quite there, but you're on the right track. 28, 28 degrees, 11 minutes. 28 degrees, 11 minutes? Really? Oh, I got something else. Three? Yeah, 44.37. I have 44.7. Yeah, 44.7. There might be some decimal places in there. Yeah, make sure you're in degrees. That's going to be... At the start, that was just to have a look at it. That was just to get started. I just said a head start. I didn't say you to do the whole thing. All right, here's what I've got. My calculator tells me about 44.7 degrees. Okay, roughly. Now, you have to be super cautious. Remember in the past we've talked about the fact that you've got the sine rule, you've got the cosine rule. When we can, we prefer the cosine rule because it has, well, you never have a problem with ambiguity, right? You remember that? So this is one of the angles, but there's another option, right? What's the other option? 180 degrees minus that. Oh, wow, that happened fast. I think I'm getting this as the other option, okay? Now, here's what I'm going to do. Um, we have zero tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we do. yeah, we do. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that there. If you didn't keep up writing, maybe go ahead and take a picture. But we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods. So we're going to continue this in zero. You are welcome to see if you can get from here 
to the end, but then we're going to continue the discussion because there's still a couple of curveballs left. Okay? Sir, 